With Log Me and Rescue Lens, troubleshooting has never been easier, and we cover how it works in this video. What is going on everybody and welcome to another tech tip video. So today's topic is going to be a software called Rescue Lens and it is built from Log Me In. This essentially allows you to use your phone's camera as an eye when you're trying to do any type of troubleshooting task. So we're gonna go through, show you the connection process and show you how it works. Before we get started into the details of this video, if you are new here, first off, welcome to the channel. I'm Aaron and I'm from Help Cloud and we are your go-to tech resolution hub. On this channel, we are tech driven and we have a variety of content content from tech tips, how to's, tech news, unboxings, etc. So if any of those pique your interest, consider subscribing. Log Me and Rescue Lens uses your camera on your phone as kind of like an eye when it comes to diagnosing either a technical or a non-technical issue. And this is an awesome alternative rather than having somebody trying to explain something to you either over a phone call or a text message. To get the connection process started, you're first going to want to contact your service provider and see if they have access to the software. If they do, you're going to want to obtain a one-time connection code. Here at Help Cloud, what you're going to want to do is contact our customer service team at 1-800-813-5977. And we have a various ways of getting connected, such as either a direct pin code, an email, a link, or the preferred method of a text message. In today's demonstration, we are going to be using an Android phone, specifically the Samsung Note 10 Plus, and we will be using the text message option as part of the demonstration because it does contain a link to download the app that you can click on, but it also contains the one-time connection code. So feel free to write down that connection code because we will be using it at a later time. But as far as iOS devices, this does work on iOS. Apple does have a little bit stricter permissions. So the steps may vary just a little bit, but just pay attention to the instructions that it's giving you. And uh, you can typically follow along uh, pretty closely. So again, so we're gonna be using the text message mode. So we've got the phone right here and we're gonna be sending a text message on over. So let me go ahead and send that real quick. So we've gone ahead and opened up the text message that logged me and sent. And as you can see right here, we've got the URL, which will forward us to the appropriate store to download the application, but it also does have the code. And as I was saying, go ahead and write that code down just because it'll make things a little bit easier when we're doing the connection process here in just a moment. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and tap on the link. And as you can see, it's going to open up a browser, but then it should kick us on over to the uh, Google Play Store. If you're on iOS, it should kick you to over to the App Store. And then it does forward us to the application where we're going to go ahead and download. Once the App Store or the Play Store has opened up and forwarded you on over to the application, go ahead and tap on install. And we are back and you can see that the app right here says Rescue Lens and now it's installed and we can go ahead and click on open. So we're gonna tap on open and it's gonna bring us through a little bit of information about the application. You're more than welcome to thumb through this if you wanna know a little bit more about it. Um, or you can go ahead and click on skip and that will go ahead and skip. Now you are going to be prompted to allow some permissions based on the app. These are required in order to proceed. First is to access the camera and then the second permission is to access the mic to record the audio. So in this case, we are going to click allow and then you can see allow rescue lens to record audio. Go ahead and click allow one more time. Once you've allowed those permissions, this is going to be the part where you enter that six digit pin code that also came along in the text message. So in this case, we are going to enter 82533. And if you, like I said, if you wrote it down, this will be super easy for you. If not, feel free to go back to that text message and uh, grab that pin code and then come right back to the app and it should pick up right where it left off. So we've got the pin code in there. We're going to go ahead and tap on connect and it's going to say connecting and then it is going to say by tapping accept you agree to log me ends and user license agreement and then it's going to bring you to a prompt that says waiting for a technician and by this time the service provider or if we're here at help cloud should hear a ding as you probably heard and they can go ahead and pick up the session and once they've opened up that session you'll see right here at the top where it says rescue lens stream starting maybe if I don't block it. And then you can see we've got an eye view of what's going on on the camera lens. But if you look in the background as well, right up there, you can see whatever I point this phone at to at now, the technician can see. Now let's cover a little bit about the UI that you're seeing right here on your phone. You can see right at the top kind of a status update of what is going on. You can learn more about their privacy policy by clicking on that link. Support session established with mobile technician. That will typically, the, the mobile technician will typically be replaced with whatever the technician's name is or whatever company you're with or something along those lines. And then you can see right here where it says 1036 camera now streaming. So again, once the, the representative or the technician has opened up that session, from that point forward, they're going to be able to see what your camera sees. Now, if you look towards the bottom of the screen here, you've got three little buttons right here at the bottom. You've got starting from left to right, we've got your flashlight. If you're 
crawling through and it's kind of like a dark space or whatever, they made it really easy to toggle the flashlight on and off with the app, which is super nice. So if like you're getting behind checking like a power cord or a network cable and it's getting really dark, you can just tap on this, this button right here and that will turn on the flashlight of your phone so to make it a little bit easier to see. So if you see, if I disable it, turn it on, you can see that it's enabling and disabling the flashlight which is really helpful as well. Uh, now, if you need to go ahead and pause the stream for whatever reason, you can click on this little camera button right here in the middle. And what that's going to do is it's gonna say camera stream paused and the technician, as you can see on the screen in the background, the technician will no longer be able to see what's going on with the camera status. And you can see it, I don't know, well, it's kind of blurry, but it says camera, uh, customer has paused the camera stream. So that kind of gives you a little bit of privacy if you need to be able to disable your camera for you know whatever reason. And then of course you can just tap it one more time and that will start the, or that will resume the stream again as well. So final one on the right is the Red X. That will go ahead and end the stream at any time. But before we go ahead and demonstrate that, I wanna show you if you needed to talk with the technician via the keyboard or via the, the chat, what you can do is right here at the top, if you just tap on the little words or where all of the status updates are right up here, it's going to open up the chat system that's gonna kind of make everything in the background a little bit more transparent, but then you can start typing a message. So if you just tap on that, it'll bring up your on-screen keyboard where you can send them a message or if they end up sending you a message, you can go through and read it and reply to it. And then of course, once you're done, so we'll just go ahead and click on test. And then you can either click on the little paper airplane or you can click on send and that will send the message. And then you can see right here where it says test. You are on the right hand side. If the technician sends a message or replies, it's going to show up on the left hand side. You can see right here on the left hand side that that's where the technician text is going to be. So you've got you on the right, technician on the left, and you can use that to chat back and forth if you need to also help explaining something while you're giving them a visual of what is going on. And then of course to get out of the chat, and then of course to get out of the chat, what you do is you see the three little parallel lines right here. You can just hold on those and then swipe up and that's going to take you back to the camera stream. And once again, on the right-hand side down here at the bottom, if you click on the X, it's gonna say, do you really want to disconnect? Make sure you don't actually accidentally bump that because once you bump that and actually end the session, if you're not done yet, you will need to do a reconnect. However, if you are done with it, go ahead and do you really want to disconnect? Just click on disconnect. You can see the rescue lens has been disconnected. It will give you notification. It will forward you over to a survey page, but you can go ahead and close this out. And then once you close that out, if you go back to the log me in app, it will give you a summary of what happened. Connection closed successfully. It gives you the duration and it does show you the amount of transfer data back and forth. As you can see, having the rescue mobile lens software is really great for troubleshooting thanks to the camera lens. And this can be used in a wide variety of different scenarios, such as like automobiles or using it to troubleshoot office networks or printers, anything that could benefit from having a visual perspective. And that wraps up today's tech tip, bringing us into our question of the day. What type of scenarios would you use this software in? Connect with me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and give the video a share. Check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We are tech focused. We have a variety of different types of content. Here are a couple examples for you. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.